When you listen to Hurricane Hymns, shoot on Shawn Michaels. He's slick right, bro. It's like the only person out of his almost 20-year career that he ever really, really just put over was other click members and Stone Cold. And he probably was forced to do that, probably. <laughs> That's it. I don't even want to count Brett because, dude, that mess with them was just weird anyway. But I'm just saying, bro, that is weird. People criticize Rock for coming and going and going to Hollywood. The Johnson did the same formula. Now, y'all want most of y'all current favorite wrestlers to try to do the same thing, which you should because that helps them get money. How can you want your favorite wrestler to be cool but only making a million, two, three, four million dollars wrestling check when they can make that in a movie? You ain't no real wrestling fan. You want them to get as much money as they possibly can. You care about the person and the wrestler, but you still care about the person first. So then... They criticize The Rock, but when has Shawn Michaels ever lost to somebody like Hurricane Chris? When has he ever put up a young up-and-comer for the world title like Brock Lesnar, like The Rock did? Dude, The Rock did so much. He made Kurt Angle legitimate. When you think about it, his main push and rivalry came with feeding off The Rock. Triple H, he made him legitimized by beefing with The Rock. Same thing with just being there. And it made people have to choose from who's number one with Stone Cold. Rock presence is huge, bro. Huge. But people always, oh, Shawn Michael, Shawn Michael. Bro, dude was toxic, bro. Toxic, selfish, vacated. He's the reason the belts probably started originally getting vacated, if you ask me. I don't care about previous heirs before him. Dude started dropping the belts, making up all kind of stuff because he wouldn't put nobody over. The Rock need his own little celebration. When these people get their claps, when the Miz who put Bobby Lashley over get his claps, when somebody like, I'm serious, even Daniel Bryan, who put Kofi Kingston over and allowed Kofi Mania to happen, it's certain wrestlers who wouldn't have did the job. They would have made up some kind of weak excuse like Shawn Michaels would have probably done, and they wouldn't have won that belt, bro. Give it up to somebody like The Rock. Give it up to somebody like Undertaker who lost the Royal Rumble and made Maven look special. It's so many wrestlers that you might be like, well, Sean can kick and flip and he can carry a match a certain way. But when you think about the honor of the business itself, bro, that man didn't do a service to the business. John Cena kind of didn't neither until the way back into his career. And when he did, it was already the guys that the company was already going forward with. Roman Reigns, they was going to go forward with him whether you beat, whether he went against you or not. Same thing with a little bit of Austin Theory. Whether he beat you or whether he faced you or not, they still finna push him. Look how long he got the title. They still finna push him. And he barely been in any real rivalries. Even that Bible Lashley stuff be run in, run in, skip a few weeks, whoop de woo, you forget, you forget, you forget. They still got the belt on They still gonna eventually push him. I'm not trying to hear that, bro. John Cena didn't really do nothing to give back for the business, bro. There's so many people that came and put people over, bro. Like how honorable that was with Hulk Hogan and The Rock. You see how that undisputed title got booked originally, though, with Brock and Rock and Hulk Hogan and Undertaker. Look at the four of them. I don't care how long they had the titles. I don't care how the hot potatoes. That was some incredible matches. That was an incredible time period with wrestling, bro, where people was really laying down to do the job for each other. Shawn Michaels was only laying down for Triple H. And your wife barely started laying down herself. Like, bro, you got to give more than you take from the business. Leave the business in a better predicament than you found it, bro. And a lot of them didn't do that. The Rock did, though. The Rock did. He'll come over right now and put the uh, Roman Reigns in over. I'm not trying to hear that. The Rock did. Shawn Michaels didn't really do nothing. When he came back, he put himself over. Even when Hulk Hogan was Hollywood Hogan and doing his, uh, when he went back to Hulkamania, which he was money then, really. When he came back from WCW, he still lost to The Rock. Even Stone Cold was selfish. He quit because of Brock and on, and played three WrestleManias with The Rock and only put him over at the end. And that was because he was about to leave. That's selfish. That could have kept Brock interested and keep making even more money for the business. But instead, when you win in two out of zero and maybe three out of zero, it's like we don't even need to put the money on the match. We Look at the, the, the other finishes. Stone Cold selfish too. Think about it, bro. Stone Cold did the same thing Shawn Michaels did. Shawn Michaels barely put anybody over besides his besides Triple H and Stone Cold. Stone Cold barely put anybody over with the belt either besides Undertaker. Think about it, bro. But we love them dearly. But the non-selfish ones, they don't. We just overlook them. Overlook them, bro. Yeah, right, bro. I'm not trying to hear it. These dudes is selfish, bro. You got to put somebody over too.
<clears throat> Shawn Michaels probably politic the camp on Hard Hill back even before he died. For all we know, the clique was there. You can't tell me they didn't keep him down. They probably barely want Brett to have the belt. So I know they probably took the keep on down. I know they did. And that's probably how Kevin Ash got to push. Not just because he big. When you got three, four people in Vince's face, every time they going backstage after a match in production, running in his face, hey, I think this guy should get a push. But me, 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 me. Yeah, put him on. Put him on. Eventually, you're going to get the push. Then Triple H eventually married in and gave that same power play that he got a little bit and threw it to Shawn Michaels for NXT. That's why Carmelo Hayes looks one way as a face and it's like a joke as a I mean he looks like a, a joke as a face and looks legit as a heel. I don't even look at him the same no more. Cause you gotta think about it. Look at his moveset. Look how thin he kinda is in a way. Look how short he kinda is in a way. Look at the type of arsenal moves he don't really even really just do real power moves. When he ain't a heel and got no attitude or no brash behind it, it makes him all it, it waters him right back down. Dude, he's a face. Get ran up on by the challengers, even though he got Trick Trick with him. What's the point of Trick Williams even being there, bro? <laughs> I don't even get it no more. He's a good guy now. He don't even need you next to him. <laughs> if y'all gonna turn immediately good, you should have had Trick blast him as soon as he won the belt. Boom, new program. That simple. WWE stay doing some backward stuff. Why? Because Shawn Michaels and Triple H are hell bent on letting anybody really be bigger than he, than they former groups or than their wrestling former selves used to be. They will keep this new era held back forever, bro. Forever. I don't care what nobody say. Look at Drew. Look how long he's been there. Two title reigns. Bible Ashley left and came back. Two title reigns. Even if Cody wins, it'll be one or two, maybe max. They not finna let y'all get the belt like that. AJ Styles, two title reigns. Ray Mysterio had a, and Jeff Hardy a cup of coffee each with the belt. Booker T. I mean, he had a, the world title, but still. I'm telling you, bro, they not letting them keep the belts like that. Roman Reigns got like six title reigns. That's because Vince. That's Vince. If Triple H had it his way, Roman Reigns had the belt three times. Three times. Y'all notice that. And look at the amount of times we got the WWE World Champions. And can count up who got the most since, like, the mid to the late 2000s. They're not pushing stars to be the next Shawn Michaels. Oh, 10-time World Champion in The Rock. You're not seeing them coming out of WWE. Daniel Bryan left with, like, what, three, four, five? Sam Punk, what, two, three, four, five? And most of y'all don't value the World Championship. You value the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, what, like, two? Like, come on, bro. The way Roman Reigns has built the Universal title, the Universal title more valuable than the World Heavyweight title. When they had it actively in the WC, in the WWE, not the WCW, but in the WWE. And yeah, I get it, they hot potato in WCW, but I still tune in just to see who won. I don't care if it was Scott Steiner, Booker T, Hogan, Kevin Ash, Goldberg. I was still watching. I was still watching. Majority of us watching WCW. That's how we flip back to the channel and, oh, okay, mankind's about to win. Like, that's how all that happened in the first place. I ain't never just been one-sided. I grew up pro-WWE, but when I got out of my family's shadows and they went over watching me, looking on my shoulder every time, I was watching WCW, ECW. I mixed it around, but I still hold my stock to being a WWE guy, though, bro. Majority of my favorite wrestlers had to hit WWE to get really known to the masses. My cousin didn't even know who um, Rob Van Dam was until he hit WWE. Or Sean O'Hare was until he hit WWE. He didn't know who he knew about Chris Benoit, but barely until he hit WWE. He knew about Eddie Guerrero, but barely until he, he until he hit WWE. He knew about Chris Jericho, but barely until he started wrestling at WWE. It's just facts. I ain't saying I did, but and that's majority of the way for most people who ain't just hardcore, hardcore into it like that. They know about you when you hit the big stage, but. Yeah, bro, these boys selfish, especially Shawn Michaels. Yep, and don't nobody call him out. I forget to watch him shoot interviews. Hurricane Chris did right by calling him out. He was talking about uh when he was using a choke slam, somebody went and got that canceled. And I was like, dang, he sure was using it. And I liked when he kind of used it too. It added something different. Then um, you remember The Rock put him over, and I guess he was on his way to do a little something right then. And then next thing you know, he did nothing. Because I could have sworn he won the tag titles before that, uh, old boy, or he fell down the car for about another year or two. And then he uh, he got old boy, so it's still like his push got stopped. He did nothing with that momentum. Nothing. They even tried to give Maven a solo run uh, just to see how he can cut it after he did that with Undertaker. That at least got you in the door quicker than sitting backstage and catering. You got people that actually grab some youngin and put them under their wing. Who did Shawn Michaels put under his wing besides the click? Who did need him to put under their wing? They, they great, they great wrestlers. At one point in time, Kevin Ash was respectable as Diesel. 
even before he got cringe, he was respectable. Decent as an outsider and cool in WCW. He was all right. Always hurt, but he was all right. He was all right. At least you could say he was decently healthy. Shoot, bro, breaking down. I mean, he was breaking down there too, but not that bad. The outsiders won the world titles a couple times, if I ain't mistaken. He won heavyweight title. I mean, I know how he won it, but still. Bro, y'all don't put nobody over, bro. That's horrible, bro. If y'all think about the Intercontinental titles and the mid-card titles, Savia Vega just being around Razor Ramon and all of that, that slick put him over. It didn't take him to, to the moon or whatever because you still had to deal with the backstage politics of click at the time, but it still got him known to the hardcore fans. It's so many people that beef with certain wrestlers, and then they'll do a program with them, and you'll never see them again. You just got to think about it. You got to think about it. You see Triple H do a program with it, like Scott Steiner. What happened after that? It was like he got buried. Everybody we wanted to win the world titles that went against Triple H just like they got buried and barely did anything afterwards. Even his relationship being announced to Stephanie McMahon in turn kind of buried Tess. I mean, I know they kept trying and trying and trying to give him gimmicks and stuff, but in the end, he probably eventually could have had more potential had Triple H just stayed out the way. Man, I get it. It broke NDX, and, it, you know, I get it. But dang, bro, you got to think about it from the other player's perspective, too, bro. That probably changed Tess' whole trajectory, bro. Whole trajectory, bro. For real. He tried to do the best he could, but he still won't be remembered to the average day fans. And man had one of the meanest big boots in history, bro. Cody Rose got his finisher, the test drive. Man, I put that on one of my creative wrestlers. Every video game. Test drive. Bam. Test drive. And it was powerful. I used to bust people open sometimes when I hit them with it. Man, that man, man, I couldn't imagine nobody bleeding in WWE with that move today, bro. It's soft. It's weak. Cody made that move weak, bro. Man, I hope Shawn Michaels do right with them NXT people. You could tell Vince called Solo Sokoa up. If it was up to uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, he would have stayed in NXT. If it was up to Triple H Shawn Michaels, I don't think the bloodline would have been relevant this long. And if it was up to Triple H, he would have been a made Roman Reigns lose the titles just because. Not even if he lost them, he would have just made them lose them just because. Yeah, I'm glad Vince is like, dude, screw you. This is going to be my new NWO. I don't care what you say, bro. I'm old, but I ain't this old. Let me. This is my business. I, my baby. You don't like it? Go make it your own brand. And that's right. And that goes for y'all fans, too. You don't like it? Keep critiquers cornering it. It ain't going to do nothing but fall on deaf ears. It ain't going to hit no writers by the time Monday and Friday roll around. <laughs> Seriously. Just the YouTube IWC, the chat rooms. Like, nigga, please. That makes me sound so cringe, bro. I get we do what we do. I get we talk so much with each other and talk wrestling. But half the time, ain't nobody really agreeing with each other. Ain't nobody really respecting each other's opinion. So how is it really even a community when half the time we go out our way to trash each other, bro? Think about it. Man, y'all, you know, man, it's going to be crazy, bro. I miss the real dudes, the real solid cats, bro, who you can talk wrestling to. Nowadays, it's... Well, let's see who the internet likes, and we're gonna break. We're gonna push them forever. Uh, I don't. Here go most of the average wrestling fans. They got positive Charlotte Fair videos, but because they like Cody Rhodes, I don't like the Bloodline or Brock or Roman Reigns because they're part timers. Newsflash: Charlotte Fair been a part timer for, for pretty much for the last few years. Newsflash. Hello, Becky Lynch is pretty much one dimensional. Can't do anything unless she got the title on her way. Same with Charlotte. Newsflash. Nobody was even there to test the waters as his tag teams and say Bailey and Sasha, but they got the most heat out of everybody for some odd reason. Oh, Bailey's the worst in the four horsemen. Oh, Sasha's overrated. Ha ha, bye horse. But they the best ones who actually will put the other girls over, sacrifice like Bailey is doing for uh, damage control for the other ones. But they don't get no credit. Can we give the standing ovation to the ones who actually doing something for others, bro? Sasha wanted to put the whole other women's division over with that tag division. But when you realize the reigns wouldn't be respected, you can't put nobody over if we're barely holding the title. I would leave too because I'm trying to make what you gave me work with the tag team title, trying to be a good Samaritan while I'm underpaid. But if I can't even work this neither, what's the point?